head into the semifinal of Miss World. And now, Philippines. Para kay nanay, for my mother, a single mother's journey to love. That is my Beauty with a Purpose project and it's dedicated to my late mother and to all the single mothers in my community. Being a mother is the most important job, it's the most important role, yet oftentimes they are neglected. We fight so much, we talk so much about women empowerment, so why don't we start with empowering our mothers, most especially those who go through so much difficulties having to raise their families all on their own. Here in Miss World, we are given the chance to fight for causes, to open up meaningful conversations about problems that are otherwise neglected. And here I am, hoping to bring light and to spark a change, positive changes in the lives of single mothers. Back in my community in Cordova, Cebu, there are 2,000 single mothers. So imagine how much more there are in the rest of the world. But they are not, give, they're not given the support, they're not given the help that they need. With my project, we give them a safe space, a community for them to feel loved, to feel that they are heard, that they are understood. More importantly, we give them continuous BPO and computer trainings that they can use to equip them with skills to land better opportunities out there, especially amidst the pandemic. It gives them hope that they can still go out there and learn new things and build a good life for their families because that is what I want for them. That is what they deserve. And that is what I would have wanted for my mom too if she was still here. That is my commitment and that is my dream. Thank you. Next, we have Mexico. I have always believed that everything happens for a reason, and I was brought up in a family of migrants who worked in farm fields, my grandparents, my parents, and I also had the opportunity to move to the US. It was a huge adversity that we always faced. Unfortunately, I've always been a very optimistic person, and I had the opportunity to access education in the US. I believe education changed my life, and this is the most important thing that has allowed me now that I am here, and everything that I've experienced in life to share with others. I've believed that everything that happens to us and all the gifts that we have are to share with others. And in this case, I believe everything I've experienced in my life has only made me more empathic with people. And now that I am here, and, sorry. Sorry, I got a little nervous, but I want to talk to you guys about my project. I will try to speak a little faster just so you guys know about my project. So like I said, I come from a migrant family, and I knew that this touched my heart so much, the fact that these children are often left alone, abandoned, and feel that they are different, the outcast from everyone else. This is what I felt, but moving along in life, I know that these things are only to teach us and to connect each other. And after participating in the beauty pageant, after having the preparation of university, I knew that it was my commitment to also share with others what I am. And now that I am here, that, that is what I want to do. So when I started with my Beauty with a Purpose project, I knew that I wanted it to start initially with education because education are the wings that allow us to fly in the direction that we want to go to. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was not easy. Um, when you go to these communities, you see the adversities all these children are facing. And the most important thing is not that they don't have education, but it is that they face so many adversities far beyond from that. In my case, I realized that a children cannot learn if he's hungry, if you he can't hear it, if you he can't see. Thank you, Mexico. Thank you. As we welcome back our contestants, a quick reminder, it's your time to become a spokesperson for the tourism of Puerto Rico and tell the world why they should come enjoy the island. Yes, ladies, once you're finished, please feel free to return to your seat. And now, as per the jingle that we're hearing, <laughs> it's time for Miss Philippines. Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. Soy Tracy Enamorada de este país caribeño. 
Welcome to Puerto Rico. This is Tracy and I fell in love with Puerto Rico the moment I stepped foot in this Caribbean island. So the very first time I landed here, it was about two or three weeks ago. And I was looking for my luggages because I have 10 from the Philippines. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know who to contact or how to contact anyone. And lo and behold, this Puerto Ricanya looked at me, smiled at me, approached me and said, hello, where are you from? Do you need anything? Do you need internet? Because I have some that I can share with you. And I was blown away. See, the best places in the world don't really need the most amazing and the most beautiful sceneries. They just have to have the best people. But you know what? Puerto Rico just happens to have both. From the white sand beaches, the abundant rainforests, the culture, the food, and the people, Puerto Rico has it all. It took me 40 hours to get here. But it was the best 40 hours of my life and I will do Thank it you, all over again just to be here. Thank you, muchas gracias. Thank you very much, Philippines. Next, Mexico. Hello, everyone. Well, I was super excited about knowing that Miss World was going to be held in Puerto Rico. And right from the beginning, when I arrived at the airport, I realized that Everything about Puerto Rico is amazing. I'm a very sunny girl, so when I knew it was going to be in Puerto Rico, I was really happy because I know I've seen the scenery online and all the videos Miss World posted. I was super excited, and when I got to the airport, we were greeted amazingly. And I was impressed because I was like, wow, not only does Puerto Rico have amazing scenery, amazing food, and all the Latin music, so much fun, but the people. And now that I've been able to also hear the stories from the people at the hotel, and just everything that's happened in Puerto Rico, I realized that Puerto Rico, not only is it, it's, it's not so big geographically, but it's big at heart. And the people here are super resilient and only have love to share with others. I'm super amazed to see how they're always so smiley and always have this optimistic spirit. And that is something I'm gonna take away from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has changed my life and I'm so happy to share this experience with everyone and just simply, I feel like my heart is part Boricua now, so thank you. Between Philippines and Mexico, our winner is Philippines! Congratulations, ladies. And once again, from the historic Capitol building of Puerto Rico here in San Juan, this has been the 2021 Head to Head Challenge Final. We'll see you December 16th for the Miss World 2021 Final. Woo!